Hello everybody, Mr. Tilly here. I want to introduce our latest project. We're going to be building some cardboard landform models using topographic maps as our starting point. I have a little video here that I'm going to show you in just a second which will illustrate the process. But to get started, what you want to do is acquire a landform from me. I will give you a landform. And the first thing you're going to do is using the exacto knives, the razor blade knives, being very careful. You're going to cut a piece of cardboard about the same size as the rectangle which outlines uh, your topographic map, uh, the landform on the topographic map. That's going to provide a base for your landform. Each of your topographic lines is going to become uh, one layer of cardboard. Okay and you're going to stack these on top of each other starting with the lowest contour line and working your way up to the tallest or the highest. In this case the lowest contour line is going to be minus 20. You can see a minus 25 there. So this one is minus 20. Uh, so it's actually underwater. This is a spit and the spit is a coastal feature. Um, you can see the zero here and then um, so that these little blobs in the middle, these will end up being above sea level. Uh, and then a few of them are going to be below sea level. So your first cut is going to be almost uh, an entire rectangle. So you're going to cut all the way back to the corner, all the way up, all the way down. And then your first contour line is going to be cut out like this. And then all of this material, all of this, will be placed on top of your base. Your next cut is going to be the next contour line, outlined in this one in black. And then all the way back, almost another entire piece of uh, rectangle. And then that will be placed on top of the previous two. Your third cut is going to be the next contour. You're cutting this out of a piece of cardboard. Almost an entire rectangle placed on top. So by now, um, you'll, st you'll start to move upward from a low point here in the corner. And your cardboard is starting to create a three-dimensional landform. You'll continue to add layers of cardboard until you start to see uh, your landform emerge. Uh, once you have all your cardboard cut, you can glue them together. And then using the paints that I provide, you can paint the appropriate uh, colors corresponding to things like water and rock formations. And in this case, you might have a, a sand formation that extends into the ocean, uh, etc. whatever your particular landform calls for. Okay, so uh, this is kind of a fun project. Um, here's a little video that demonstrates from start to finish the construction of one of these landforms. We'll be working on this in class and then researching how your landform was created, whether it was erosional, depositional, tectonic, is a result of some glacial action. We'll be looking for some landform examples. Where on earth is it located? Uh, we'll have a little bit of computer time. You can save some images and then eventually you'll present this landform to the rest of the class. Okay, so watch this video and we'll get started.